What's happening, Bitcoin enthusiasts? It's Bitcoin Guru, and boy, am I excited to talk to you guys about this. What I have compiled here for you guys is a selection of information regarding technical analysis, and it's more regarding news. I've kind of combined everything together. We'll talk about this. It's it's pretty awesome. Um, now that I now that I look back on it and this is pretty much my notes as I go through my Bitcoin journey and I wanted to share this with you guys okay so without further ado straight to it now of course all of this is information that you guys can find here at Bitcoin Guru it's gathered and selected by yours truly Demitar and I want to let you guys know that I'm not the best search engine nor will I find the things on Google that you will find Google has specific algorithms that show different results for you than it does for me therefore I recommend that you do your own research because you will find different information posted up on this channel there is a place on the community page on bitcoin.guru where you guys will be able to share anything Bitcoin related. This is what Bitcoin Guru is all about, my friends. It's gathering all of the information possible and having it available for everyone to use because ultimately, Bitcoin is better than Bitcoin, 100%. So, without g getting off on a tangent, my dear friends, do your own research, please. and teach me something so then everybody wins so what do we have next from the guru from yours truly from Dimitar this is one advice that I have for you guys and it has changed my life it has changed plenty of people's lives and it has ruined plenty of people's lives it's a uh, very tricky thing okay but should you use it the right way it works fantastic and it's as simple as where focus goes energy flows without getting too far and in deep into this think of you focusing on a pen what are you gonna see more of you're gonna see more of that pen the more you focus it the more you see a pen the more you focus on a notebook the more you see a notebook it's as simple as that so focus on the positive focus on all the good that Bitcoin provides to society and with without realizing it Bitcoin will reach 20 30 40 50 dollars no over exaggeration I promise so that is as simple as that if you guys want me to go into this absolutely I can just comment let me know what you guys like to see and we'll go deeper now as far as this topic we have plenty to cover so just the intro two of the things that we're going to talk about one of which is technical analysis technical analysis is security analysis discipline for forecasting the direction of prices through the study of past market data primarily price and volume that fascinates me you're gonna tell me I'm gonna be able to forecast the price by looking at previous data and be able to have a pretty good idea of what the price might be oh sign me up my friend news trading trading based on news reports this is another topic that we're gonna cover but in short this is truly what it is you're ma uh, you're making trading decisions based off of news critical news any type of news so in this case let's see what exactly we're talking about this is where graph meets research <clears throat> so first to start off this is the graph that we have so far for Bitcoin this is straight off of Coinigy I made the graph I took the snapshot yesterday my friends so it's not it's not that different today 
from starting from 2014 as you guys can see here I've drawn a trend line now in here on bitcoin.guru you guys will be able to see in a technical analysis tab of the website we're going to be going over all sorts of different indicators that we can use and techniques that we can use in technical analysis and price prediction but this is going to be very brief on this topic okay so I've drawn a simple trend line something that shows some sort of pattern a basic pattern and I've connected the tops that uh, Bitcoin has reached throughout the last four or five years right so starting 2014 we have about 150 then we have 200 and then we have 280 and I've drawn a pattern this is where we're at currently at 35 satoshis so I took this a little bit further and I decided to combine it with the official roadmap that Bitcoin has released so this is what it looks like I know there's a lot of writing and a lot of uh, things going on but it's very simple I've separated the graph in four in first second third and fourth quarter and I've also outlined pretty much what the roadmap has outlined so Asian market is the focus of the first quarter which is almost over second quarter would be the Middle East third is the African market and fourth is not mentioned one thing that is continued to be pending is the payment plugin processor which used to be BytePay now regarding BytePay I have some news for you guys that's another video now currently we have passed the beta release of the new API I have not yet tried the beta release because I'm currently using the old Bitcoin wallet the new API stable release is supposed to be coming out on March 20th which is right around the corner so after the retracement I, I could kinda tell that the price is gonna go down a little bit before the news hit that is usually how the universe works things go down before they go back up so it makes sense for the price to have gone all the way down for the new API stable release to have come up for people to gain more trust in Bitcoin and to invest more into it therefore increasing the price because of all the investments now the next big event after the API stable release would be the hard fork that is gonna be a whole new different thing and it's gonna be fantastic on its own it's not gonna be a new coin it's not gonna be divided into anything it's gonna be the same one but it's gonna be better faster stronger Bitcoin that's what it's gonna happen and right after the hard fork guess what we have we have Bitcoin's sixth birthday that's right my friends quite a lot of things to celebrate and this 35 satoshis you can kiss that goodbye because you're not gonna see Bitcoin in the double digit satoshis anymore I guarantee you that you cannot have so many privacy currencies gaining so much attention and then you have the main one that started it all 2012 with of course privacy driven on an algorithmic level these things are anonymous untraceable unlinkable I'm s am I missing something and this is still less than half of a US penny my dear friends 
I don't know. Public testnet release is the next thing, which is on July 10th. July 10th is when Bitcoin says, hey, look, my friends, here is a way that you can make tokens for your purpose, whatever purpose you want, based off of the Bitcoin, CryptoNote, CryptoNite um, algorithm. And they're going to be untraceable, unlinkable as well. And you can build off of that algorithm just the same way that Litecoin came off of Bitcoin. You can make other ones. Just like the Petro, I think, derives from Ethereum, the Venezuelan um, cryptocurrency derives from an ethereum based algorithm the same way that you can make bitcoin tokens and call them whatever so the public testnet release is going to be huge now one thing that i uh that i forgot to mention is you see that line up on the top that is exactly the line that we had here and this is I wouldn't say that's a far stretch we're talking about by the end of 2019 to have 380 Satoshis and looking at this graph that foreshadows by the end of 2018 the price to be 380 Satoshis which roughly is about 10 times higher than today's price now this is a very uh, conservative estimate and prediction and, uh, and as you as, as you guys can see this is a very not steep of a slope and of a uh, trend line so we'll see how it goes now I have also pulled up a MACD indicator just so we can see how things are going now it was right about I think it was 40 something Satoshi's that it stood around for quite some time and I was looking at the graph so the price was staying the same but the MACD was moving down to me, that signaled that price was going to continue to go down. It was definitely not going to be going up. Because the movement and the momentum that the MACD can show you was both the signal line and the long term were po pointing downwards. So I decided to hold off for a little bit. Now the previous high that we have seen before was 280 satoshis and that was earlier I think I, I believe that was in May that was in May of last last year of 2017 that's when we had the huge spike that hit 280 satoshis so Now looking at the graph and looking at the MACD at the same time, I decided to pull up the roadmap and see what kind of events we have coming up. What kind of events might trigger a reversal of a trend? So as we can see here from about the beginning of 2018, we have had a bearish trend, which means a trend going south a price decrease so what might trigger a trend reversal that new API stable release that is coming up that is gonna bump up the price the hard fork is gonna bring even more attention because even though Monero has forked off of Bitcoin 
Bitcoin still doesn't have much attention being brought upon itself. And it's kind of a shame to a certain extent, but then it's good for the Bitcoin enthusiasts that are sweeping up the half a penny Bitcoin. Remember, my friends, we're looking at a completely untraceable, private, anonymous, unlinkable cryptocurrency with extraordinarily small fees and extremely fast transactions. I, I gotta tell you, yesterday I was transferring Bitcoins from Cryptonator to my wallet and it took what two three seconds I, I kid you not I kid you not maybe you know maybe I should maybe I should record this I'm gonna do this in a different video I will show you guys how quickly Bitcoin gets transferred it's it's insane and we have 35 Satoshis you best believe one of these events will trigger a very huge price increase one of them is coming up on March 20th the next one is coming up on June 12th afterwards is July 4th and then July 10th and throughout the whole process I do want to remind you this e-commerce driven coin is making moves partnership after partnership and I will continue to list them all of the exchanges that are listing that coin this it's making so much progress compared to Bitcoin it's completely dwarfing it because we're, we're, we're going exponential exponential awareness people are starting to find out about this coin and another thing that I just want to throw out there you could have bought a million Bitcoin for 50 US dollars the beginning of 2017 to be more precise January 26th check it in the coin market cap website in the history snapshots you can see for yourself on January 26th you could have bought for $50 1 million Bitcoin now it takes about two three thousand I think definitely in the thousands so that is just to show you what kind of increase yes we've had Bitcoin increases but Bitcoin when we start talking about dollars and not just pennies not just halves of pennies we're starting to talk about dimes and nickels and quarters and dollars and you know well my dear friends that is for the graphs it's very brief I'm, I'm just showing you guys the correlation between news and graphs and that is something big that we're gonna be discussing in this channel news trading is huge because you will be able to stay ahead of traders and latecomers like uh, people that watch the news after the fact after everything has happened after people have gathered all of the Bitcoin the Bitcoin etc that's when everybody gets to find out about the news it's too late so here we are a half a penny okay news trading is very beneficial and that's why I always tell you guys do your own research because you will find out information that I will never be able to find or I might not be able to access so the more you know the better news trading is is great and staying ahead of the curve as far as trading is a uh, fantastic now um, I do have a couple of reminders for you guys participate in the bitcoin.guru polls I'll have plenty of polls coming up just so I can gather more of an idea of what you guys would like to see would you guys like to see more of technical analysis would you like to see more of resourceful videos you know that type of stuff like the videos that you like to see more of that way we can communicate you know 
comment and share with others that is important because that's how we get the Bitcoin word out and please do not forget to enter the Byte weekly Bitcoin giveaway there is a main video on Bitcoin.guru that should you comment on that Bitcoin video on the YouTube page along with two reasons why you would buy Bitcoin and your Bitcoin address you would enter a drawing for a prize of 200 Bitcoins that is a hundred times more valuable than 200 Bitcoins trust me and make sure that you enable the notifications for the YouTube channel so that way you stay informed and like I said stay ahead of the curve as far as information is concerned now Bitcoin requests my dear friends you guys want to see more explaining would you want to see more predictions more graphs more tips more news more info what would you like to see participate in the polls on the website comment in the section below let me know and you will receive should you ask for it and um, of course do not hesitate to let me know if you have any questions all of the contact information will be provided for you guys and anything Bitcoin related Bitcoin Guru will be here for you guys have a wonderful one and I'll catch you in the next one